you very much again for joining. I'm very glad that the many people come get together today. I am not expecting this many people. I'm very appreciated and uh, I have so much hope if this uh, many people come. The usually this new uh, NOx action rally is uh, smallest time is uh, 15 people. Sometimes Saturday, Sunday, 100 people, but today like 40, 50 people so far. Thank you so much. Today, March 11th, marked the third anniversary of Fukushima uh, disaster. So it's been already three years. Um, the Fukushima uh, is under control. The Abe Prime Minister uh, have told to, to the world, but Fukushima is out of control. Mishaps are happening every day. Leaking uh, water from the tank, contaminated water seeping into underground and into the Pacific Ocean every day. And then more than 140,000 people were relocated. And then many people are still living in the uh, temporary housing. And then millions of people are still living in the contaminated area exposed to the radiation day by day. Especially young children are uh, suspicious. It's already 74 children are diagnosed by thyroid cancer. So the thyroid cancer uh, patients are definitely increasing. But uh, government uh, said that there is no connection with this uh, epidemic and uh, nuclear accident. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's, and then uh, the Japanese uh, basic uh, energy plan just came out uh, recently that is really pushing for the uh, nuclear policy forward so that uh, nuclear power will be the basic base load energy. And so um, government is trying to uh, reopen, restart many reactors this year. But how they can do that, they, uh, they cannot contain any uh, Fukushima accident. Many people, millions of people are suffering still. Hawaii, Government can start another nuclear uh, reactors. We are really demanding to the government that take care of children, especially the children need to be relocated to the safer area. Pe uh, children cannot wait. Thank you. We cannot wait a few hours later, I mean the years, and five years later. Um, conditions are deteriorating. So nothing is really under control. The 2020 Olympic, uh, they invited. That is a big, I think, uh, campaign that they tried to covering for the, this accident mess and then bring up the nice, beautiful festival atmosphere. Um, but I uh, want to say this time was um, every 11th of months, we write the letter to the prime minister, and then the uh, council come down the sidewalk, and so that we could present the letter by hand. Uh, yesterday, the council Hayakawa in San Francisco said she won't come down because the office of Tokyo uh, gave the advice to all the 17 consulate to not take the uh, letters by hand. They want to us to mail it because the third anniversary, uh, we organized the 17 consulate in nationwide in the one uh, embassy to do same um, letter petition, demanding letter to give it to prime minister through Japanese consulate. It's already 10 uh, locations in the consulate and the one embassy. Uh, they uh, confirmed to participate. So they are doing right now 
uh, maybe different time, but just today, we're doing the same thing in the nationwide. And beyond the nation, uh, some world uh, doing some in Brazil and uh, London and uh, Paris. Um, so that's really nice. We are coordinated this petition action. But uh, consulate want to come down, so I said, OK, so you are not coming down, then I'm going up office to handle it. But she said, no, please made it. So, well, you are accepting, then what is the difference for mailing or giving you by hand? I, so I said that uh, mailing is your decision, it's not my decision. I don't want to mail it, I want to give it to you, so I'm going to come up to the office. So I went to their uh, security like 45 minutes ago, then uh, sure that I was blocked because one of them coming down. I have been waiting for 45 minutes. Nobody come down yet. Hope they are coming uh, here so that the, we can present the letter as usual, as like the last 19 times we did here. Um, so we will see. This is, for me, it's harassment. The many uh, nuclear activists in Japan were arrested for no reason. The one of the uh, person, uh, name is uh, Masaki Shimoji in Osaka, we invited last year to have a conference here. Uh, she's a part, uh, he is the, uh, one of the uh, activists was arrested. Um, he described the, how the operation, suppression of, from Japanese government and the police. And then I feel that oppression here too. So if Consul doesn't come down today. We are going to have a big protest. We do a die in here. And the protest at the same time for the, uh, the way of the gov government is not taking care of Fukushima uh, victims and um, uh, children. So please join us. And thank you so much. And then um, we really encourage uh, to people in Japan who are doing big rally because of March 11th. Uh, 320,000 people in Tokyo had a rally. And the same thing, they are very much encouraged what we do here. Um, I'm from Berkeley. Berkeley City has uh, passed the city council um, resolution, which is uh, uh, search for the level of the radiation of seafood. Also, the asking the UN to uh, help the Japanese this accident to contain. So Fairfax, Berkeley, and the two are more, more city, and same, Oakland and everywhere. We are trying to pass this city uh, resolution, which giving the uh, Japanese people really feel um, encouraged because they think they are not alone. We are here is also working. The San Onofre um, plant was shut down. Yes, but, but there is one more, Diablo Canyon, there. So we, we don't need, we don't need a nu no, uh, nuclear power plant. So we are working very hard. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, next speaker. Uh, today, um, I'd like to first uh, let uh, Cecil Pineda, which uh, wrote that at uh, this time, uh, in case if nobody come down. So this is uh, a letter. Uh, Cecil will read. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I'm the author of Devil's Tango, How I Learned the Fukushima Step by Step. This is the letter that we agreed we would present to His Excellency today. March 11, 2014, day 1094, following the start of the global disaster at Fukushima Daiichi. To Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, your Honor, according to the February 28, 2013 issue of the New York Times, your government announced that Japan's nuclear plants are stated, slated for restart once tougher safety guidelines are put in place as recommended by the Japanese Nuclear Regulatory Authority. Does the Nuclear Regulation Authority plan to issue tough guidelines to prevent the occurrence of earthquakes? 
in the Japanese archipelago, where the Philippine Sea Plate, the huge Pacific Plate, the North American Plate, and the Eurasian Plate all converge. The Shimokita Peninsula, where reprocessing plant Rokosho is located, is a most fragile formation, which lay at the bottom of the sea as recently as 5,000 years ago. But Rokosho was designed to withstand only 20 to 25 percent of the Tohoku quake's magnitude. An explosion at Rokosho would expose people within a 100 kilometer radius to levels of radiation 10 to 100 times the lethal level, meaning instant death. Does the Nuclear Regulation Authority have plans to bring radiation victims back to life? Do its plans make provision for the eventual sacrifice of Japan? Mrs. Masako Mori describes the secrecy law, which passed December 7, 2013, as an effort to, quote, protect the people's right to know, unquote. But the law provides for up to 10 years imprisonment for anyone who either inquires or reports anything about the status of your three meltdowns at Fukushima Daiichi or what may be happening to the water table when the corium reaches it. It's an amazing law that can reveal the truth at the same time as concealing it. Does the Japanese government have plans to conceal from observation by satellite the plumes and explosions which will result? Your plans to return evacuees to areas contaminated by 20 millisieverts within one year will save your government and TEPCO billions of yen. Does your government have plans to allocate those monies for the treatment of the thyroid cancers and other malignancies resulting from the relocation of your old people, your women and men, and your own children to the contaminated area? Sincerely. It is heartbreaking to have to read that out loud to you today uh, because essentially what this also signals is very severe damage to our planet. This is our home. This home does not belong to TEPCO, nor does it belong to the Japanese government. And I can tell you right now that the bodyguard from upstairs is negotiating with the police here to my right. So that evidently, I'm very happy to tell you this because what this means finally is that we are making a difference every month that we have been coming here and holding this demonstration, and this is the 20th today, we are beginning to make a difference. And I want to thank Chizu for coming up with a brilliant idea of coordinating all 17 cities where consulates exist. We're working on it. And next year, we're going to bag all 17 and the embassy. And we have worked very hard with colleagues all over the country to make this happen. So thank you for being here. Thank you, Chizu. And thank you, us, because we are making a difference. Our work is being rewarded. Thank you. Thank you so much. This time, this is not that really no nukes actions work. Uh, Fukushima Response Bay Area, circle of concern, and then tribal care, and uh, Occupy San Francisco. Many people uh, helped each other and then uh, united each other and made this happen. And so thank you very much. And then uh, from Fukushima Response, Holly going to speak. Hi, my name is Holly Harwood. I'm with Fukushima Response Bay Area and the Berkeley Fellowship of Unitarian Universalist Social Justice Committee. Today, people all over the world are reading poems about Fukushima at demonstrations just like this. We're putting an anthology together called Words Fly Away. And I would like to give you my contribution to the anthology which came to me in Berkeley when we were meditating on Fukushima 
So here's my poem. A gentle breeze caresses us with unseen carcinogens. For when the wind blows, the radiation flows, and we are all in its path. Thank you. So the necklace is a poet uh, for peace. Yeah. Shit. Okay, let me get this open. Oh, wait, I need to. Yeah, just hold the microphone for a minute. Okay. So, I need to get it on. Here it is. Make sure that doesn't blow up from you. Yeah. That's hot. In the uh, 1950s, my mother took me every year to the United Nations for a vigil against atmospheric testing of nuclear weapons. She was a member of a Women's Strike for Peace and Sane Nuclear Policy, and now, over 70 years later, we're still fighting the results of nuclear energy and nuclear weapons. So this is a poem uh, to commemorate uh, Fukushima and the nightmare that the people, the Japanese people have gone through with the hope that we can continue fighting and get rid of this curse on our planet of nuclear energy. Fukushima, earthquake, tsunami, nuclear meltdown, the tragedy compounds itself in three days, spreading unimaginable destruction. A giant earthquake feeds a monstrous tsunami. Waves up to 21 feet scour the northeastern coast of Japan. I watched the videos horrified by the destruction of boats, cars, and houses snapped like brittle bones and swept inland by the giant wave. Then the next day, the truth of a nuclear disaster comes home to roost, like a murder of crows settling on the towns of Fukushima province. The ghost of Hiroshima comes back to haunt Japan. The survivors wait, hoping this is over, and yet, Earthquake, tsunami, nuclear meltdowns, the hidden radiation spreads toward years of waiting for genetic payback. The whole living system of life is insulted and strikes back. Like the 10 plagues of Egypt, each tragedy strikes without warning with its own burden of death to create a disaster of biblical proportions. The growing horrors without end lead to madness as memories surface of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, 1945 the blinding blast, the furnace heat, the town swept away by a force greater than the largest typhoon. Then days and months of healthy survivors gradually reduced to skeletons, flesh melting, food rejected by bodies, unable to use it. The survival of this terrible Holocaust live on only to find their bodies are stricken with a curse carried to the next generation, to so their children and their children's children. Habushka the name given to these New Age lepers who carry this living death called radiation poisoning. What was the crime, the sin, that required this terrible punishment? So once again, the residents of Fukushima, like their great-grandparents and grandparents, wait to see what will come next. And the world moves on its new sensations without looking back as greedy entrepreneurs plan new power plants, new waste disposal sites to poison our water, our food, the very dirt itself we live on, to add to the deadly brew of chemicals that sits in wait, contemplating our death and the death of our planet. A collective amnesia settles on people, and especially the governments, fed by ignorance of the facts and by the greed of the wealth makers. We must not remember the past only work for progress in the future, forgetting the human bodies that progress is built upon. Lulled by governments who manufacture ignorance for the people and wealth for the greedy few. Will this be the time that the sleeping giant of ordinary people awaken to say no? Will this generation be the one that refuses to be thrown onto the refuse heap by those who only seek riches built on their bones? Thank you. Thank you.
So, uh, another from Fukushima response, Nick Sarit, please. Yes. Thank you. Uh, the writer of Fukushima Diary, Iori Mokazuki, said, we will fight to the last man. Those are brilliant words, but he got one thing wrong. We will fight to the last woman. Because in my time in this movement against the Fukushima disaster, it's been more women than men. And that seems somehow appropriate because everyone tells me women are the caretaker of the earth. I don't know where the men are and why they aren't getting involved. But we will fight to the last person regardless, whether it's a man or woman. And we will have to keep fighting every day. You know, all the work we've done over two years, some of you three years, some of you 30 years, as far as Fukushima goes, it has not made a huge uh, dent in the situation. We got the last prime minister to say he wants to phase out the nuclear power, but the new prime minister uh, disregards that. The new prime minister wants to export nuclear power and says nothing is wrong at Fukushima. In the meantime, he's trying to change Article 9. He wants to reinstate the draft because he's going to need to have an army of human people to fight Fukushima. Once they can't find anyone to work there anymore, once the radiation is so high that you can only be on site for an hour, he's going to need thousands and thousands of people to work. He's going to sacrifice them if we don't stop him. We don't have forever to deal with it. It's very unfortunate, but we don't have the luxury of time. The situation is getting worse and worse at that plant. But we have to keep fighting because we have no other choice. And I think that's where the commitment of many of you come from. You understand the reality and you see what we have to do. You see what we're up against. And you see how resistant the government is to change. I want to urge all of you not to give up hope, not to become depressed or despondent about it. You know, we don't get response, but we're getting energy and we're getting awareness and we're getting intensity from the people in Japan and the people in the U.S. The people are waking up. It's a slow process, but it's happening. And it's happening everywhere around the world. I, not to uh, pat myself on the back, I made a website listing all the events for the third anniversary of the Fukushima disaster which is today, I didn't succeed. Uh, there's a lot of events I didn't even find out about until last night, but they are going on everywhere, all over the world. Everyone is aware about it. Uh, and they're going to only get more and more aware. Those events are gonna tell new people about it. Today we found new people at our event in the City Hall Park in Berkeley. So it's a slow process, like I say, but it's growing, it's gonna keep growing. But we cannot let up. We cannot slack in the pace because, well, we're up against it. I want to commend everybody who's here for their fine work. I know how hard you work. I see these people. And I see people all over the country working. I'm in touch with them, people in Japan. So uh, put your chin up. Put a smile on your face as much as you're able to and keep at it and uh, thank you for the energy you give to me and to each other and to everyone and we're going to keep on right right i can't hear you yeah thank you thank you all thank you I, ju I, I just uh, wrote this haiku, which um, before I read my longer poem, which is Fukushima winds blowing across the p blowing across the garbage Pacific through the asthma sphere. So you know, it's a lot of things going on. This is this is called post epoch elliptic Buto nature bat's last poem, Suzanne O. -O Santa Guy, somewhat short-term myth-time tsunami explanation. Oh, Susan, oh, how you weep. 
just Pisces past, Japanese Kami of the Sea with such a mythic moment crash. I wrote this after, right after the earthquake. Most powerful Genjutsu Zizanagi, born of seven divine generations, returned from the underworld where he had tried to bring back his dead wife Izanami and was covered in gloom dust. So he blew his nose. Being born from the snot of Izanagi was not an auspicious start to life and could be the reason Suzano, god of the seas, was prone to behaving like a bit of a boogie, especially toward his sister, Amaterasu. <clears throat> she was born from the left eye of Izanagi, presumably after wiping a tear away after sneezing. The Greeks, who had their equivalent Orpheus and Eurydice myth, believed the sneeze was a blessing from Zeus, which is not a bad thing to credit if you have allergies. Another kami, Tsukiyomi, was born from a tear in his right eye. Amaterasu was given the sun, Tsukiyomi was given the moon, and Suzanoo was given the ocean, which he rejected. Go figure until late winter 2011. Furthermore, on the other hand, Suzanoo is the ability that creates a super humanoid being like the golem to surround and protect the user. The nuclear unraveling Germans seem to understand this path of perfection. Soto Gai, say the Tokyo power people, beyond our imagination. Up, up, easy, come on, let's make a little time here. Of course, of course it is beyond your imagination. You are not poets. You are not poets, you kaputless mishmash handlers of limitations. Was it beyond your imagination to build 49 nuclear plants the number of days in Death's Bardo on earthquake faults on waterfronts with 3,000 years of scientific evidence? The tsunami was Suzanuo's snot, and the gloom dust that now hovers our planet is your short-term greed in how many half-lives? More Buto, more Zazen, and I think it's 64 plants. What's your name? Arnie. Thank you so much, Annie. His poem is great. I read, the, I had a chance to read, and it's great. And he, his, uh, uh, the people, it's not people, but gods, Susano is an ocean god, and uh, in Japanese, uh, uh, mystery, and uh, Susano is an ocean god, and Izanami is, uh, uh, I think, mountain. And then sun goddess, uh, uh, Amaterasu is sun goddess, and uh, another one is a uh, moon god. So he wrote all this, used all these gods to, uh, you know, describe at the uh, moment of our life now. So I think we should go back to the, those ages. Uh, not really, but uh, you know, we should know, know it. Just very short. step. Yes. Uh, I beg your indulgence for one more short thing. Some of you may be aware of a man named Mark Schwartz who lives in Berkeley and was a very important member of the Occupy movement. He still is, but he's the man who the train hit in Berkeley and removed his leg. And he's given me a very short three-line poem that he's giving for the Fukushima uh, anthology that I'd like to read to you in his honor. He's in, a, he's in recovery with a prosthetic, learning how to use that in Berkeley. If any of you know him from the Occupy movement, you can speak to me and I'll get you in touch with him. Mark Schwartz. Fukushima Bayachi. You killed my child in California. My Earth. Thank you. never come down. So we need a protest 
Um, this is the uh, attitude of government, uh, Japanese government and the nuclear industry. The Fukushima accident is, of course, uh, caused by the uh, tsunami and big earthquake, but not only that, uh, human errors, human irresponsibility, and the collusion of uh, government and then uh, nuclear industry. Um, this is a typical Japanese government the attitude that uh, they try to uh, cover the mess, cover the problem, but we are against uh, and condemned the Japanese uh, nuclear policy. So please en um, join the uh, dying. Whoever want to uh, die on the sidewalk, just lie down. We're going to uh, mark the, uh, your um, outline in maybe five or ten minutes. So let's do. Okay. Yay. Who has a um, new um, chalk? Please do. You don't, you don't want to get down. And this is a, a, the no nukes is a first experience. The no nukes is a very small um, organization that only like a four Japanese and then four American people. And then uh, this funded um, 2000 May after March 11 happened. After that, uh, we one of us do uh, this uh, monthly rally, and sometimes the members uh, invite uh, Japanese important people from Japan, and they have uh, educational conference, and then we are showing the uh, documentary from Fukushima, uh, in the condition of Japan, and so this year. Oh, the non nukes action will bring a lot of uh, also films. The members are now in Japan, in Fukushima, uh, filming the many um, uh, conditions of uh, Fukushima and then rally too. So hope you have a chance to see this uh, video and the filming. It's a May uh, 2nd or 3rd, it's a Sunday, in the Berkeley uh, Library, West Branch. Uh, we are showing the uh, Japanese footage uh, of this uh, March 11th, 2014. So hope many people can do it. And then I don't know, well, I know maybe uh, why the uh, Japanese consulate changed their policy suddenly because they have been accepting our letters for 19 times. 15 times is called Iwata uh, Consul. He has been so kind to us that uh, I heard uh, Iwata Konso's wife maybe came from Fukushima, so she, he was very compassionate to us. <laughs> and then he always came down here and received our uh, uh, prime minister's letter. And he always uh, promised to uh, bring to uh, Japan. Now is a uh, uh, Hayakawa consul. She came down like uh, three times and received it. Sometimes she sent uh, uh, her helper here, not herself. And uh, today uh, we are expecting to be have to be here. But yesterday she said that Tokyo office uh, ordered advised that all consulate should not receive the letter by hand. We have to uh, send by mail, but I don't see anywhere the Japanese law said must send by mail. So we have petition law, also we have uh, asking letter law. I recently found out actually petition law have to go through the uh, one of congressmen. So it is a very formal uh, letter. So we have not been doing uh, right away as a petition letter for last 19 times. But it's inside of the content of letter is exactly the same. We just changed the title to asking letter. These asking letter to submit, we don't need any congressman's help, which we are doing last 19 times. And then this time also, um, the letter to uh, Prime Minister, we are not going through the uh, congressman. So we call this is an asking letter. Um, as Japanese law, they must receive sincerely. 
uh, our uh, anybody's letter, not only from a Japanese citizen, from anybody, but they are refusing to take by hand. They, they always said, uh, send it by mail. I am here right now. I am here in the front of consulate. I want to go up and I like to give. The security uh, person said, wait here. Somebody will come down. And it's already one and a half an hour. Nobody came. That's the reason we are lying down here. And please think about the uh, victims of Fukushima. Please think of uh, children who are suffering there, the innocent children. Why they have to be suffered? Um, all the adult people creating this mess world, and they all come down, the consequence is the suffering of children. Those children are not deserved to being like this. We really uh, need to do something to relocate children from safer place. And then uh, Fukushima victims, those people's uh, fear is people around the world will forget about them. So please do not forget people of Fukushima. And please learn from Fukushima accident. Japan government didn't learn or didn't try to learn. If they learn the, uh, uh, what is the uh, nuclear plant, the poisonous, they really cannot uh, push forward the nuclear policy at all. They didn't learn anything. So please help our Japanese government learn hard about nuclear power. It's not really a good source for the energy from before and anymore. And then a uh, few more minutes, please relax and enjoy the uh, San Francisco blue sky. I want to ask her to speak. Who? You want to speak? She, she said no.
Is anybody like to speak up? Is anybody want to speak up? Yes. Please come. Uh, name first. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Emil <laughs> de Guzman, and uh, I live here in San Francisco. Uh, in December of uh, 2012, I went to a town called Ishiomaki. In uh, it's not far from uh, Sendai, and I'm very uh, sad to report that I saw so many cars piled up on the beach, just stretching, without having to be removed because they had no money to remove them. I saw an 11-story hospital near the water that was the tidal wave that had overwhelmed it and totally um, devastated the building. The building is up, but there are no patients in there. There is no hospital medical activity in that building. The horror that is there, it is just absolutely it is shocking. No humans should have ever go through that. The people there told me 20,000 people's lives were lost. Again, this was then, in December 2012. So I know the suffering, I've seen it. And the worst thing that I felt is that the Japanese people, especially in that region, do not know they are not educated they are not informed by the government about what's truly going on. They're living there in that area, and it takes me to have to send communiques and information there to them from here so that they would know uh, YouTubes to there. So please keep up the work to keep sending things there because people there are not getting the news. They're not getting the straight information. And, uh, and I also encourage you, go there too. Go there and meet with those uh, people in that region, Fukushima, Iwate, um, you know, Sendai. This is the Tohoku uh, region of Japan. You know, to see yourself, the shock, because it is really, truly shocking to see it all. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. Hi, so uh, we have uh, still half an hour or so. So, what? you want to go? Okay. Yeah. We are going to march on the Market Street to the Union Square. So please join us. We are leaving in uh, three minutes. Please uh, prepare for that. Oh! 
that much to photograph. You probably already got the same people ten times.
Fukushima. No, no, Fukushima. No, no, Fukushima. No, no, Fukushima. No, no, Fukushima.
moment of silence, please. Thank you. many thank you so much thank you very much this is really encouraging to the people in Japan and I'm so glad that many people from many area we united and then doing the same goal achieving the same goal yeah, thank you I'm working on a project uh, called uh, Fukushima Kids uh, Japan Project. And uh, we try to uh, bring uh, children from Fukushima and uh, to uh, bring here and let them to learn natural agriculture and also uh, do uh, music and uh, art uh, workshop with music and art and, and then do show together. So I have band and also I have kids orchestra here and also dancers and filmmakers. And so we want to create a kind of big show and then choir from Fukushima, they want to be in the center. So we can spread the voice of Fukushima with art and music and the film. So that's how we are planning and, and uh, so yeah. And please support us, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna send the song called Inochi Furumi. Inochi Furumi means that ocean with a full of lives. Inochi Furumi
waves crossing deep, 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 deep. The blue sky is forever, is forever. The dream of the rainbow flying. which is uh, no nukes action that wordpress.com because many events are coming up so please check up and then please join us as much as you can and thank you very much and then please uh, remember the Fukushima 
Let's remember the Fukushima. Let's not forget Fukushima. Shut down all the nukes! Shut down all the nukes!